This video will show you how to use compact column subtraction to subtract numbers up to five digits long. On the screen you can see a subtraction. 16,324 subtract 8,516. Because I'm using column subtraction, I'm going to start by labelling each of the columns that I'm using. Next, I'm going to write the numbers into the column subtraction, leaving a gap between my column headings and the numbers. Because I'm subtracting the bottom number from the top number, I must remember to put in a subtraction symbol to show this. And I must use a ruler to draw a horizontal line to separate my columns from where my answer will go. First, I have to look at my units. 4 subtract 6. Because the 4 is too small for me to subtract the 6 from, I'm going to have to look at the number that's next to it in the tens column, the 2, and use the tens that make up that number to help me. Now I know that the 2 that's in the tens column represents 20, and I also know that 20 is made up of 10 add 10. I can add one of the tens onto my 4 that's in the units column to change that to 14 and help me, and then I'll have to change the 2 in the tens column to a 1 to show that I've used one of the tens that makes up 20. So I'm going to cross out 4 and write 14 above it, to show that I have added one of the tens into the units column. And I'm going to change the 2 into a 1 to show the movement of one of those tens into the units column, and that the 2 that's in the tens column is now a 1 to reflect this. And of course, that 1 that's in the tens column represents it now being a 10. Now in the units column, I've got 14 subtract 6. Now that I can do this, it gives me an answer of 8, which I write at the bottom of the units column. Now to the tens column. In the tens column, I have got 10 subtract 10. That gives me an answer of 0, so I write a 0 in the tens column to show this. Now to the hundreds column. I've got 300 subtract 500. Again, I can't do this, so I must partition the thousands to help me. So I'm going to partition the six thousands into five thousands and one thousand. I can now use the one thousand in my hundreds column to help me with that part of the subtraction. So to show that I'm adding this thousand on, I'm going to cross out the three hundred and change it to 1,300 and cross out the 6,000 and change it to 5,000 to show this change. In the hundreds column, I've now got 1,300 subtract 500. This gives me an answer of 800, which I can show at the bottom of the hundreds column by writing in an 8. Now to the thousands column. In the thousands column, I've got 5,000 subtract 8,000. Again, I can't do this, so I must use the 10,000s column to help me. So in the 10,000s column, I've just got a 1, which represents 10,000. So partitioning this into the number of 10,000s that make that up, I've just got 10,000 and 0. To show that I'm going to use this 10,000, in my thousands column, I'm going to write a 1 here, which represents the 10,000 that I've added into the thousands column to help me. Because I've used that 10,000 and there is now nothing left in the 10,000s column, I must cross out the 1 to represent the 10,000 and write a 0 above it. Now in the thousands column, I have got 15,000 subtract 8,000. This gives me 
7,000. There is now nothing at all in the 10,000s column, so I can now ignore this column. This then gives me my answer. So the answer to the question is 7,808.